Hey guys, Bill, the Kansas Flamingo Chef. Thanks for joining me again. And today we're cooking fish. Not just any fish. This is just about a pound of grouper. This beautiful cut of fish is courtesy of a nice place here in town called the Seafood Shop. And uh, man, you know, when you live in the Midwest, it's hard to get good fish. I mean, it, but this is fresh. It's never been frozen. Tremendous piece of fish. But there's a lot of ways you can cook grouper. And uh, most people I talk to say they don't like it. And I can't imagine why. I like it grilled. I like it blackened. I like it sautéed. I like it fried. But today we're going to bake it. I don't eat a lot of baked fish, but it's really better for you. So I'm going to show you the way I bake fish. So if you take a look here, I've got a few things, okay? This is just some smashed up Triscuits. <laughs> just Triscuits. These happen to be the smoked Gouda Triscuits, but you can use any of them. There's about a dozen Triscuits that I mashed. I've got a few capers. I've got about a half of a Vidalia onion. You can use any white onion. Uh, you could even use yellow onion. I've got about uh, a half each of a orange and a red bell pepper. I've got a couple of lemons. I've got some salt and pepper. I've got some garlic butter. I've got some Creole mustard. Grandu or not granulated, excuse me, minced garlic, which we won't hardly use any of. Olive oil. Some dried cilantro, but you could use fresh or not at all. And last but not least, some uh, ranch seasoning. I know it sounds like a weird combination, but here's what we're going to do. First and foremost, we're going to take a big scoop of butter, the garlic butter, and we're going to put that right in there with the Triscuit. I'm also going, and I have my oven heating, by the way, to 350. Then I'm going to take a piece of lemon and take a colander and squeeze the lemon into that Triscuit mix as well. Why use the colander? Well, that way you don't get any seeds that get caught right there in the colander. And we're going to set that to the side. So we'll need it again. All right. We're going to put this in the microwave. I know. I just said the magic microwave word. We're just going to cook that heat for about 30 seconds. Then heat it again for about another 30 seconds. Meanwhile, let's take some oil, put it across the bottom of the pan. Now, if you want to mix this and level it out, by all means, you can. I just like to take a paper towel and just kind of roll it around the bottom. Okay? And we'll set that off to the side. Now, I'm just going to set my fish right on the oil. I'm going to take some capers. Not very many. And just kind of lay those on the fish. I'm going to take the peppers and lay them on both sides so we get pretty color. I'm going to do the same thing with the onion all the way around because we want the flavor from the onion, but we're not actually going to make it part of the dish. All right, we'll take a little bit of the garlic. Maybe a teaspoon. And just kind of put it around as well. A little bit of the Creole mustard. Just all the way across with this. And the ranch the same way. Finally, the cilantro. Okay. <clears throat> Take our lemon colander again and squeeze the lemon that we have left all the way across. Now, if you have a garbage disposal, don't just throw that lemon away. Put those rinds in the garbage disposal. Do two things. One, it'll clean your disposal. Two, it makes your kitchen smell fantastic. All right, so now 
we'll get this out of the microwave. You can see it's not quite ready yet. So we're going to put it back in there for about another 30 seconds. I don't want to burn the butter. That's why I do it in stages. Go ahead and get your spoon ready. Meanwhile, you can go ahead and put a little salt on here and a little pepper. If you guys have watched my videos, you know I like pepper. All right. This ought to be about ready. My oven is up to 285, so it's just about perfect timing to put it in there. Okay. Now we're just going to mix this together so we get the triscuit and the butter all mixed together. And we're just going to kind of set that over the top of the fish. It makes kind of a little breading without being actual breading, and it's, uh, it gives it that garlic and gouda flavor if you use the gouda uh, triscuits. At this point, we are ready to put this in the oven. You can cover this if you want to. You don't need to. I'm going to put it in the oven just exactly the way you see it. I'm at 312, that's close enough. So we'll go ahead and pop it in the oven. I'm gonna put this on the upper rack in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Take it out and check it. Take a fork, just barely touch into it, see if it falls apart. If it's not falling apart, the fish isn't ready, put it back in, let it cook a little longer. This uh, baked fish should just fall apart when you have the fork. Let's take a look at it when it comes out. It's been about 25 minutes. Magic of television, right? Let's get this thing out of the oven. Now, I've been smelling it the whole time it's been cooking, and it's just ridiculous how good it smells in here. I'm going to go ahead and shut the oven off. And, oh, man, does that look good. Now, you can see the triscuits turned into kind of a crust. And if we just real slowly push that down there, you can see that fish is flaking. It is absolutely perfectly done. Give this a try. I'm telling you, it'll blow your mind. And here's the best thing about it. You don't need anything else. Make a salad if you want, but you've already got some vegetables to go with it. Just use them. Put it on the plate. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, for my plating, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm just going to cut this fish. And we've got a half size portion. And just drop that right on the plate. And the skin is still attached to the back of this. So if you don't want it there, you can pull it away. But for the purpose of plating, I don't think it's the most important thing at this moment. Let's get rid of that. Now you can serve this with some rice. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do it just like that. And then you might even do like a little heavy cream reduction over that, but it doesn't need a whole lot. That's just good stuff. So until next time, by all means, give this a shot. Let me know what you think. As always, if you've got a recipe you want me to try, if you got a challenge for me, whatever it might be, or if you just have a question about a cooking method or how to make some kind of crazy drink or whatever it might be, Bill Stout at chef.net or just visit me right here and drop a message. As always, eat fabulous. I'll see you next time.